Hello everyone. I know that all of you at some point or another have had some difficulty putting on a compression sock, either if you're a practitioner putting it on or if it's a patient putting it on themselves. Um, I just want to show you um, how we put on this easy glider sock. Some of these come in the no compression, some 10 to 12 millimeters of mercury and then others 18 to 20 millimeters of mercury. And they can be quite difficult to put on. Um, so just a couple tricks. Um, what you want to do is you want to take the sock and you want to turn it completely inside out like this so that you pull it all the way through and this area here is going to go over the top of the foot okay and when you slide the foot in it is going to go right to the end just like this getting past the heel is the hardest part when putting on a compression sock okay once you get it to that point you can take the top of the sock bring it through and pull it up like this and take it right up there. Make sure that the top of the sock is never up past the knee joint, okay, past the crook of the knee, and it's up nice and smooth like this. A good compression sock will have a nice wide top to it so it doesn't drive into the skin and cause a tourniquet effect. Then you can kind of just adjust the sock as you go. You want to take all of the wrinkles out of it. And another little tidbit of information that can make life a lot easier is wearing a pair of rubber gloves, like those yellow rubber gloves that you use to clean the toilet with. Those work really well when putting on a compression sock because then you can grip the material better and pull it up. Patients can do the same thing. The key is to unravel the sock so that when you push it on, it gets up to about the ankle here, and then you take the rest, pull it through, up and around, smooth it out, and lay it right up there. So that's how you'd put on the Easy Glider compression sock.